So here it is YouTube, I'm Roadhawk Wilson with Neoverse Official, a group of authors, and I wanted to discuss today how Guardians of the Galaxy, the movie, specifically developed a character from obscurity to fame by eliciting emotion. And we all know Groot, he is the heart and soul of Guardians of the Galaxy, especially the movies, and has risen to pop culture fandom just on immense scale because of how he impacted fans in the movie. In the beginning of Guardians of the Galaxy, he seems to just be the lackey, the standalone figure that seems to be the muscle for Rocket Raccoon. And Yet, throughout the movie, by invoking the relatable emotions of obscurity, social awkwardness, and simply just wanting to be a, someone who loves, Groot became a powerhouse character in the MCU. And I say this as we notice that he stands by Rocket because Rocket feels alone. He doesn't have many people he can rely on and is a figure that doesn't really stand on his own very well. You may ask, how does he do this? He stays by Rocket's side no matter what. In fact, even because of his new friends and Rocket himself, Groot endures abuse, destruction, and even temporary death for those he loves. Something that very few people have actually done for those they love, but something that we all find admirable and honorable. And at the same time, in Guardians of the Galaxy, Groot reaches out to a young girl in a desolate planet and gives her a flower, an action that doesn't seem to be very significant, but at the same time, shows that he's not just a muscle, he has a heart as big as his body. Now, how we see this character grow, mentioning that he sacrifices himself for the sake of those he loves, by the end of Guardian of the Galaxy, we see that this muscle is someone who wants to protect everyone he loves, something that every human being on this planet can relate to. By the second movie, we see that Groot is something even more relatable, a child. He elicits the protection of his friends and family and is far more vulnerable and far more relatable as he is the one that can continually die the easiest. He, he needs the protection of those he loves, a reverse role but at the same time, as we have all been children, we know what it's like to feel vulnerable, to not understand the world around us. And because of that, Groot elicits the emotion of, of relatability, of, of feeling like he belongs in a family that truly does protect him. Something that we all want as children is protection. And a mother and father, which Star-Lord and Gamora seem to be for Groot. As he grows into a teenage character, we get to see that he is rebellious, he is vicious, he is arguably fights against his father figure, Star-Lord. Something we can all relate to as we grow older, we rebel. So Rocket Raccoon originally had probably one of the most flat characters in all of the MCU and now is paired with one of the most influential characters in the MCU just through the sheer scope of what we have seen and the honorable and relatable intentions of Groot. With this, I hope that you will continue to support Neoverse Official. I'm honored to be a part of their team and we hope that you will keep up the nerd stuff, keep up writing, keep up what you love, and we will see you in another video. Bye.